All right, pressing forward, playing every video game, we are back at home on our Bally Astrocade, playing Bally Pin. If the symbol at the top looks familiar, like Bally Ho Total Fitness, yes, it is the same company. Before they got you in shape, they wanted you to sit in front of your televisions and play video games. Let's take a look at the artwork for Bally Pin. It has everything except a slot to collect your quarters. Thumper bumpers, kicker targets, drop targets, realistic flipper action. They'll even catch the ball and roll it back and forth to give you the direction you want. Wow, it's like the best way you could describe pinball. But it's Bally Pin, it's much better. There's an example of the cartridge or cassette tape, if you want to call it that. Bally Pin. Do we have a manual? We do! Oh, yeah, and they give us the screenshots at the top. The Bally Professional Videocade. Instructions. Enter the... Oh, yeah. Enter the Videocade 3005 into your unit and press reset. And then enter number of players. And then it shows you the controls. Uh, left flipper, right flipper. Okay, it's it's pinball. So, uh, yeah, there's only one page of instructions. Very brief. <laughs> All right, moving on. Let's play it. It's 1979. We're at home playing Bally Pin on the Bally Astrocade. So the first screen that comes up comes with the rest of the games that are built into the system. Gunfight, Checkmate, and Calculator and Scribbling. Let's check out Bally Pin 1. And then one player. Zit. Ooh. Oh, I don't know the control. Uh, I didn't read the control to, to send this sucker on its way. Is it 1? Hold on. I got to consult the manual. How do I send the ball... Uh, all the way to the, the the top part. Let's see. Press one to play Bally Pin. After you select it, it'll say number of players, and then uh, trigger joystick. Uh, joystick controls ball and flippers. But where's the knob? It says there's no function for the knob. Each player score da, 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 numbered. Each player consists of five balls. The pulsating ball shooter on the right is controlled by pushing the joystick of the hand. Oh my gosh, that's why you have to have the second controller plugged in to control the little flipper part of it. So let me turn on my, let me plug in my second controller here. Some of these systems, you had to have two controllers plugged in to play them at all. Let's see if it works. If I plug the second one in. Oh, and that's right. We also have to uh, plug the controller in. So right now I'm gonna just plug it in. Now can I play? Please? Can I plug my controller in and play? No. Sorry, Bally Pin. You have to play with two joysticks to play one pinball game? No. No way. So, uh, definitely below average for the time. Uh, we could spend more time to figure it out, but for a pinball game for the home, eh. And the, based on the video snapshot we see over there, the footage is not as good. So, we're going to go and give this one, um, yeah, one and a half. Uh, maybe that's being generous, because this is our broken range, and this is, this is, this is our bad range. So we'll give it one and a half. It's not broken, it's just it's just bad. All right, we heard from the chat. Chiptune Chronicles said he remembers having two controllers to play Raiders of the Lost Ark on the 2600. Yes, that's right. And um, we will see games like that on the 2600 later. The, the systems we have in the home right now, like the Bally Astrocade and the uh, Philips Video Pack and the Magnavox Odyssey, they do the same thing. They're, they're, they'll try to make games more complicated by in introducing a second controller. But you don't need it for pinball. That's just ridiculous. All right, here we go. This is, oh, everyone's favorite game. We, we, have, we actually haven't played our Atari home console in a long time. And there it is in all its wood grain glory. But sadly, the game we have is not really a game. This is basic programming. And no, it's not a game. It is literally programming in basic. So you get a fat star of zero because it's an application. You are not a game. Look how awesome the box art, though, is. Can you imagine if your parents didn't know this was a video game? And they uh, they gave you this for Christmas, and you're like, oh my gosh, it looks so cool! Like you're gonna uh, do something amazing, but no, it's just just programming uh, in basic. 